All right, so let's take a look at the digestive system on the cat. Um, so the first part you were supposed to learn about was the, obviously the diaphragm, and that's just a big wall here. It's not part of the digestive system, but it's just a landmark for us, okay? Um, and then uh, the greater omentum was a big pile of fat that covered everything, and you should remove that right away when you first study the digestive system. Um, then you're supposed to identify the liver, so the liver is all of this, okay? Um, so this whole big structure has got a whole bunch of lobes. In fact, there's another lobe down on the back side here, um, but a uh, bunch of different lobes. Um, and attached to the liver is going to be the gallbladder. Sometimes you can see it on top nicely like this. There's a little hole right here. Uh, sometimes you have to kind of pull apart the lobes to see it. Uh, so if I can get out of the way and shadow. But this is more of the gallbladder down in there. Uh, remember the gallbladder would have a tube that goes down to the small intestine called the common bile duct. And you can kind of see a little bit of this green tube going down here to the small intestine. Okay? Um, next thing on your list would be the stomach. So here's the stomach going around this way. Um, and the stomach has two sphincters at this top part, way up here underneath the, um, underneath the liver, would be the lower esophageal sphincter that prevents any acid reflux, prevents stuff from going back up the other direction. On this end would be the pyloric sphincter between the stomach and the small intestine. Um, and it's just muscle that prevents food from leaving until we are done crushing it up in the stomach. Okay? Uh, all of this is going to be small intestine, the coils here, and you can see a uh, definite um, change in diameter when you go to large intestine. So the large intestine is this shot here. So it's kind of a straight shot going all, all the way down here. Well, not straight shot, but um, it's a more direct shot down than we have. Um, so there's large intestine. Um, underneath the stomach, we have the pancreas. And the pancreas isn't as easy to see in this one as it will be in some of your cats, but this brown piece that goes around here, some of it wraps around inside of this a little bit. Um, it's not the greatest example of a pancreas, but it's not too bad. Uh, and then over on the side, this is going to be the spleen. It kind of wraps around. It's almost like an arm wrapped around the stomach on that side. Um, and those are the uh, big pieces of the digest. Oh, I forgot one more. Uh, mesentery. So I wanted to quickly show you the mesentery. Remember the coils between the sheets of the intestines. So that's going to be mesentery. And you can see those mesenteric arteries and veins, the, the red and the yellow uh, flowing through there. All right, that's it, gang.